All right, this story at five. Jury selection begins tomorrow in the rape trial of former UNC Charlotte football player Kevin Olson. Olson is the brother of Panthers tight end Greg Olson. His family ties, one of the reasons this is such a high profile case. NBC Charlotte's Tanya Mendez is live outside the Mecklenburg County Courthouse in Uptown. So, Tanya, what happened in that courtroom today? Well, there were lots of motions today. One of the big ones, lots of discussion about what to call the accuser in this case. Is she an alleged victim or is she a victim? Well, ultimately, the judge decided that for the purpose of this trial, she's going to be known as a victim. Is there any statement you guys want to make before everything? No comment from Kevin Olson and his attorney as they walk surrounded by Olson's family into the Mecklenburg County Courthouse. But Olson will have to answer to a judge about accusations that he beat and raped his ex-girlfriend. Court documents paint a violent picture of that February 2017 night. Olson and his ex supposedly got into an argument. Shortly after, he allegedly texted her that he wanted to kill her. Later that evening, back at his off-campus apartment, Olson was accused of punching and slapping the woman repeatedly and then raping her. Documents also claim the former UNCC quarterback tried to kill himself moments before he attacked his accuser. And while they had nothing to say today, at a previous court hearing, they rejected a plea deal. We're confident in the court system. Through it all, Olson's attorney has maintained his client's innocence. We've already said our statement. We played 100% not guilty. Cameras will be allowed in the courtroom for this trial with a catch, though. The accuser's face cannot be shown. And if you are keeping up with our coverage in the coming days, you may hear a voice. It will be distorted, though. That's the judge's order. Reporting live, I'm Tanya Mendes, NBC Charlotte.